All right, so we start from the application layer and uh, going down. Now we reach to the link layer. We are still using the slides from the book computer networking at top down approach. So the, actually we have one layer below the physical layer, but we are not going to talk about it. So this is the final layer that we are going to talk about. So here the goals are understand principles behind link layer services like error detection, correction, sharing a broadcast channel, multiple access, link layer addressing, local area networks, Ethernet and virtual local area networks, data center networks, instantiation, implementation of various link layer technologies. So this is the actual the, uh, topics that, that the book follows, but I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm only talk, going to talk about the parts that we are going to be interested when we are talking about the security. So let's start with error detection, with introduction. Then we are going to talk about error detection and so on. But most importantly, at the end, I will talk about a day in the life of a web request. So we will see what happens when we simply visit the try a web page like amazon.com or google.com. So let's start with an introduction. Link layer has responsibility of transferring datagram from one node to physically adjacent node over a link. So these uh, you know, edges actually shows you this link. Terminology, host and routers are called nodes. Communication channels that connect adjacent, adjacent nodes along communication paths are called links, here shown in red lines. Wired, the links can be wired, they can be wireless, or we can have local area networks. Layer two packets are called frame. You know, we talk about encapsulation. So in the above layer, we had datagrams. Now we have frames. So datagram transferred by different link protocols over different links. For example, Wi-Fi on first link, Ethernet on next link. Each link pr protocol provides different services. For example, may or may not provide reliable data transfer over link. Yeah, the book likes uh, analogy. So let's see the transport analogy. So we have a trip from Princeton to my alma mater, Lausanne. So it, the book says that you uh, go to uh, JFK airport from Princeton with a limousine. Then you use a plane from uh, this airport, the Geneva airport. Then you take the train from Geneva to Lausanne. So here the tourist is called datagram because it travels from Princeton to Lausanne. Transport segments, communication link. We have three different links here. Transportation mode link layer protocol and travel agent, which actually, you know, uh, you, you buy the ticket from actually is the routing algorithm. So framing link access, encapsulate datagram into frame, adding header tra trailer. Channel access if shared medium. MAC addresses in frame headers identify source destination different from IP address. So this is important because we use IPs in the above layer, like you know layer three in the network layer. Now we are at the layer two because our switches are not routers. They don't have this. Uh, they only work at the layer two. So we need to have some addresses to you know talk to each other. So here we call them MAC addresses. Reliable variable between adjacent nodes. We already know how to do this. Seldom used on low bit error links. Wireless, in the wireless, of course, we have more errors. So this is why we come up with different solutions. So uh, at the, you know, when we use TCP, we have re re reliable transfer. So you don't have to do it in every uh, step since we can uh, provide this re reliability at some point. But important thing is that here, when you use wires, uh, the error rate is really low, right? Because you have to have a very high electromagnetic field or something. But in the wireless links, the nature has a, a noise, generally distributed as a Gaussian noise, which we refer to as white noise. So in order to avoid this, either you should have a very powerful antenna, which actually becomes inefficient if you want to reach very high speeds. To overcome this, we have actually more than one antenna because you transmit the same data with more than one antenna. So even if one of them has a, a you know, bit flip, the other one will not. So this is why uh, in modern routers, you have more antennas, right? 
to reach higher speeds, you can generally now we have at least four antennas, but we have devices like eight antennas and more. And the thing is that uh, you ha should have the distance between antennas as much as possible. So this is the trick at your home. If you make them very close to each other, this might cause slowdowns, okay? So actually this is why in your laptops, you don't see any antennas, but actually inside below the keyboard, you have the Wi-Fi antenna. And actually you have at least two antennas. And you know, since it is a cable, it is most of the time, it is one corner of the rectangle of this keyboard part and the, it goes to the other diagonal part so that it gets the best reception. But people realize that since we are putting laptops on the desk, and if the desk is metal, then you get poor reception. So for this reason, uh, manufacturers actually put another antenna that goes, you know, above the monitor, you know, where you have a webcam. So with this, you actually get the best reception. Flow control, pacing between edges and sending and receiving nodes. So if you are using the you know a shared medium like here, you have to you know you will have collisions. So you should have some solutions for that. Error detection: errors caused by signal attenuation, noise. Receiver detects errors, signals retransmissions, or drops frame. Error correction: receiver identifies and corrects bit errors without transmission retransmission. Half duplex and full duplex with half duplex nodes at both ends of link can transmit, but not at the same time, okay? So uh, these are some important topics. So if you have signal attenuation, you know, you cannot send a signal, you know, to very uh, distant places. This is why you need to use repeaters, okay? The repeater just hears the signal and, you know, enhances it and repeats, simply repeats it. This is why, at home, if you have a Wi-Fi adapter and it, if it doesn't reach to the far end room, you can simply put a repeater and, you know, have that uh, Wi-Fi in that room. So where is the link layer implemented? Actually, here we are going to talk about NIC, Network Interface Card. So in each and every host, we should have the link layer implemented. Link layer implemented in Network Interface Card or on a chip. So Ethernet Wi-Fi card or chip, so on our laptops, we have both. On desktops, generally, we simply have you know, Ethernet. Implements link and physical layer, attaches into host system buses, combination of hardware, software, and firmware, as you can see in the picture. So yes, at the CPU, we have all of these layers, but we send it to the, at the link layer, send it to the network adapter, and you know, it goes to the physical layer and so on. Yes, here we have the interfaces communicating like this. So we start with datagram here, then I'll put it here. The link actually uh, tells you to destination, which we are going to talk about MAC addresses for this. Sending site encapsulates datagram in frame, adds error checking bits, re reliable data transfer, flow control, etc. Receiving site looks for errors, re reliable data transfer, flow control, etc. Extracts datagram, passes to upper layer at the receiving site, like here. It goes up to uh, application layer. Uh, 